Cool, excellent, wonderful. Okay, so this thing happened right before the stream, and um, the summary of this is quite funny. Basically, um, if you don't know, Maple Story is a very, very old game. I brought it up a couple times because every so often something funny happens. Um, it's a old school 2D platforming MMORPG, and it was one of the most wildly successful MMORPGs in the world. I want to say like right up there with World of Warcraft. Um, it had a very distinct kind of cute um, animation to it. Everything was like very like it was from Korea. Nexon's from Korea. And it had like that very Asian kind of cuteness to it. But it also had this like phenomenal OST. It had like one of the best like game OSTs of all time. Like the production value for the music in that game is like absurd. And if you play any of the songs, anybody who's played the fucking game will immediately recognize it's Maple Story music. Because while you're out there grinding and killing 8 million pigs um, for level 30, you would hear this music and you would never turn it off because it's like so inoffensive in, in quality that you would just like listen to it. But it's like, it's like an instant, like take you back in time type music. Uh, but it's still around. A lot of people never moved on from it. Actually, it was before I say that, it was um, so big. I remember seeing t television advertisements for it in Florida. So it was like so popular that they could afford to run advertisements targeting people in the U.S. Um, but some people still play it, like you know, like with old school RuneScape. Like these things never go away. There's still people who are like embroiled in that nostalgia. Um, and with me, I can play RuneScape for like a couple weeks before I get bored of it because it's like there's so much stuff that they keep adding to it. That it's, it's kind of weird to play something that's both nostalgic and new at the same time. And like RuneScape touches that perfectly. So I imagine Maple Story is kind of the same thing. Um, though I think that they've neglected it more in recent years, uh, which is why, um, for the first time in history, a player named Nairu was going to hit level 300. And to give you an idea of how long that would take, um, at level 299, based off his VODs that he left up on Twitch, um, for him to get 0.8%, it takes him 10 hours of grinding. So if he grinds on stream for 10 hours, he will not raise an a single percentage point towards the next level. Which means um, that if you take 100 divided by 0, 0.8125 times 10, it is 1,250 hours of non-stop monster slaying over and over and over again in the same fucking spot day after day. Um for months just to go from 299 to 300 so if you take that and you just let's say that he plays 12 hours a day uh, that would be 104 days he was on a level 100 and uh, 299 for at least like 104 days uh assuming that he was playing 12 hours a day and during that he did nothing but kill monsters um in the most efficient way possible and then at level 299, at 99.993% of the way to level 300, Maple Story developers got really excited. They announced it on Twitter that there would be an event. They sent everybody to his Twitch chat. Um, they put an in-game announcement directing everybody to, um, uh, to his stream. And he used that time for 45 minutes straight. With everybody in the game watching, everybody who even cares about Maple Story watching, the developers of the game watching, the owners of the game watching, because this is like the most important thing that's happened for Maple Story in like 10 fucking years. He goes on a 45 minute rant about how shit Nexon is, how they've neglected the community, how they've added features nobody asked for, how they only care about uh, grifting money off the existing player base, how they don't care about attracting new users. He just went on and on and just completely dropped, dropped trow and shit all over these people after they had promoted his stream as aggressively as possible. And then at 90, then sitting there almost level, um, like one monster kill away, from level 300, he decided, I'm not even going to get level 300. I'm done with this game. Goodbye. And he logged off. And that was the end of the stream. Which is perhaps the single most based event to ever occur in MapleStory. And perhaps in the broader gay man community. 
very few people have ever been presented such an opportunity with a direct relationship with the developers like that. And then they just said, actually, you know what? I hate you so fucking much. I hope you die and fuck your game too. And then he's done. 104 days in, he couldn't do another minute. <laughs> Peace, niggas. And he's out. Um, awesome. I don't know what to say. Goodbye. Uh, so that might be the blow that destroys Maple Story forever. And I just imagine, because, you know, Koreans are... I don't know too much about Korea. Um, I'm aware that K-pop has, like, single-handedly... K-pop and Squid Games has, like, single-handedly made Korea a country that Americans are aware exists. Um, I think, if in my head, I imagine they're kind of like the Japanese. They're kind of like a like a more corrupt Japanese where they're like very strict businessy living in bug cubes and shit. And they have to like honor family and tradition and they're very profit driven, but more like insane, like lower intelligence and corrupted than, than Japanese people are. And I imagine it's like quite a bit of a culture shock for them that this guy, I don't even know where he's from, but I imagine it's a bit of a culture shock when like a white pigu uh, has has this opportunity, and he just says, "Actually, just go fuck yourself." I imagine that's another thing that's like even conceivable to a Korean person: this idea that you would be given a gift and then actually decide to disrespect the people who gave it to you. I hope it's culture. Let me just phrase it like that: if it's not culture shock, I hope it is. That's what I'm hoping for.